My name is Antonio Rodriguez and I work as a principal Generative AI Solutions Architect in the Amazon Bedrock team. We are going to see a demo about Amazon Bedrock Prompt Management. Prompt Management is a feature that allows you to create, store, and optimize prompts that you can then use in all of your applications. You can have a prompt catalog as part of the feature that is provided to you as an added value without additional cost. We can create the prompts directly from the console or using the SDK APIs. In this case, I'm going to create a classification prompt. In example, I can create my name and I can say this prompt is for classification of incoming orders. I can access create and then I'm ready to use it and test it in the console. Here I have a sample text that I can replace with my own variables and my own uh, template. In this case I can say classify the following orders according to their importance. And then I can add in example any type of variables. Later on I can say answer in format and then it will expose that format at the end. As you can see, it created the test variables automatically for me. And I can create more complicated prompts, including system, tools, and other parameters. I can select a model, in example, that I want this prompt to be used for. In example, I could say, this is a Nova Pro prompt. And then I can set inference parameters, and so on and so forth. You can test it right away from the console. In example, I can access test. In this case, I will have to pass some variables. Uh, I would say orders. In example, domestic purchase international order. And then the format can be a list. So in this case, I'm, it's going to replace or inject automatically my variables into my prompt template and then it will test it right away. Once I'm happy with my prompt, I can save it and I can also create versions of it so that I can work with those and I can also compare different variants of the prompt side to side. By comparing those uh, side to side variants, I can, in example, start doing optimizations or variations so that I can compare the performance of those and run tests again all of them. Let's explore a couple of uh, more complicated prompts. Here you can see a prompt that is uh, for healthcare. In this case, uh, we have a system instruction already added. We have a user and assistant messages added here, and then a new input that I want to work out on this prompt, in this case for uh, classifying healthcare patients uh, uh, according to the criteria that I'm passing in this few, sh uh, few short example that you see. We also are using Cloud 3.5, uh, 3.7 Sonnet, but you could use any of the models available in Amazon Bedrock. And as you can see, we also have a tool definition so that we can uh, keep track of our tool specs for the case that we are actually doing tool use or function calling with our prompts. I can also set variables so that I can test it right away as uh, we saw before and so on and so forth. Now, the best thing of uh, working with this uh, type of uh, uh, prompt management interfaces is that I can actually optimize the models right away. So that I can, in example, select a model like Cloud uh, 3.5 Haiku, and then I can ask it to optimize for that model. This helps me not only starting from scratch when I have a new prompt that I want to optimize uh, into a better version that provides better quality of my outputs, but it can also help me migrating from an existing model to another. So if I click on optimize, it will actually start running and uh, just in a few seconds are going to have a new version of the prompt that is uh, recommended for improving the quality according to the target model that I have selected. In this case, I have selected Cloud 3.5 uh, Haiku. So as you can see, it is actually following the best practices of Anthropic for making sure that the prompt is passed with the proper XML tagging, the instructions clearly defined, and actually asking what is exactly the output format that you're expecting from the prompt and so on and so forth. 
This can have a dramatic impact in the quality of the uh, responses that you get from the models by using the prompt templates. We can explore uh, some examples. Here you see that we are optimizing a prompt for Cloud 3.5 Haiku. This is a prompt example where I want uh, a summarization of an email. This is typical for a user that has uh, no knowledge on how to prompt a specific model, like uh, the Anthropic Haiku in this case. So a user might be adding uh, some repetitive instructions, the order might not be ideal, uh, it might follow some anti-patterns in the way that it's written and so on and so forth. When I optimize with the uh, Amazon Bedrock provided uh, prompt optimization, it will actually get to a version that is uh, way cleaner and is having a way better format uh, also for the output that I'm getting. If we test it side by side, you can see here that uh, actually the summary email that I'm getting from uh, the models is a bit different. In the optimized prompt, you actually get uh, a final and uh, uh, very uh, consistent summary of the email that we were analyzing. And uh, you can see that it even helps improving the overall quality of the responses from the model. Like an example, the urgency is now properly classified as uh, four out of five for the use, uh, example email that I input. Um, while in the original prompt, it was classifying as five or out of five. And other things that are important in example is getting that my meeting is actually uh, having an availability from this person for June 16 uh, at this time. While in the original prompt, it was actually reading it wrong and it was uh, assuming that it was uh, June 17 and so on and so forth. So as you can see, it really has an impact in the overall result that we can get uh, at the end. Now, uh, it's not only about the quality, sometimes we can also use it for helping, especially with reasoning models, in example, when we are trying to optimize for reducing the number of tokens for being more cost effective and also reducing the latency. We can see an example here when we are optimizing for Deep Cigar 1, which is a reasoning model that th therefore tends to generate a lot of tokens also in our responses and sometimes it might get to explore alternatives that are really not needed for our case. Once again, I have a prompt that was written uh, pretty much uh, as a person would normally talk and not following the guidelines of the model prompting. In this case, DeepSeq is typically trained using Markdown, so we can see how the prompt optimization provided in Amazon Bedrock is actually giving you the proper format following Markdown and is having uh, cleaner instructions, in this case for analyzing uh, CSV data that I'm passing in this example. Um, we can run it side by side uh, once again and we can see that the model is performing its reasoning and then it's providing a final answer. And the interesting thing to note is that actually in the optimized version, we are having less tokens and the latency is reduced. So we can actually get a better response. And also the format of the response is going to be better. We can uh, test it out in the playground, in example, where we can compare here the original format of the responses that we were getting uh, with the non-optimized uh, prompt that I was passing uh, here at the beginning. It was taking uh, 55 seconds uh, to respond after all the thinking. It was uh, uh, consuming a total of uh, 2,663 tokens in the output. Uh, that, that is uh, an amount of tokens that we are paying at the end. And you can see how the optimized version is actually reducing that number uh, dramatically, also reduces the latency to 53 seconds. And the format that I'm getting at the end is way cleaner, having a summary of uh, the analysis of the CSV data and so on and so forth. So once again, uh, consider using uh, prompt management in Amazon Bedrock. It is a feature that allows you to uh, catalog and store your prompts. Uh, you can uh, create variants and versions of those prompts so that you can later on attach uh, to your applications in an easy way. And the best part is that you can also use it programmatically. You can do direct invocations once you create the prompts uh, through the SDK or through the console. And uh, you just have to use the Converse API in the Amazon Bedrock, uh, use the prompt ARM directly, uh, setting your input variables at runtime. And then you can see how you can do direct invocations without having to materialize the prompt templates uh, at any point. So this helps you saving a lot of time and also it helps you uh, avoiding the additional step of having to read the prompts or having to write the prompts uh, hard-coded in your code, uh, in your applications and so on and so forth. 
uh, the same in the same way for doing prom optimization uh, you can also rely on the apis that we have in this example we are actually collecting this prompt that says please summarize this text and uh, we are trying to optimize for a target model that is a uh, cloud 5 haiku and you can see how we are using the optimized prompt api and in this case we get an analysis of the prompt and immediately we get an optimized version that is recommended by the amazon bedrock uh, prompt optimization feature with that, I hope that uh, you can test it out and you get uh, the most out of the features that we are providing you for the prompting lifecycle. Thank you for watching.